welcome to another unboxing video from the playersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at a game designed by Mark Miklos, and this is from GMT Games. It's technically like three games in one. It's Tripack, Battles of the American Revolution, and it's Guilford, Saratoga, and Brandywine. So I think originally these were all dealt as smaller titles and released over the years. They brought them all back together in 2017, put them in a huge deluxe box, and there's an absolute ton of stuff in here. Um, it's a medium complexity. You can play this solo uh, without any real issues, but there's a ton of American Revolution stuff in here. A big three inch box. Let's crack it open. Okay. It being a GMT game, bag of bags, 2D10. And then we have some tactical cards, and these say C3I on them, so I think, and again, it's it's one of these older games that have been re-released over the years, so it would have modules and C3I bits and pieces. This brings it all together in this deluxe version, so I think these, whether or not that's part of this, but usually when it says C3I on it, it's an indication that at some point those came from the magazine. We have one, two... Three, four sheets of counters? Okay. So there's a lot of counters in here. Okay. So, okay. And it's important for me to not mess these up. All right. Okay. Yes. So this sheet is Saratoga. Front and back, reduced side of units. So let's take a look at these. So these are the different units over here, different Patriots, Colonials, you got Lincoln, Warner as the leaders there, Gates, and then some Rally, Ammo Depleted, and Markers down here, more Markers, these look like they might correspond to these, this is the Frontal Assault card, this is your Frontal Assault shit, so I don't know if you that you if you're using this you reference this maybe and these are the British units so you've got British troops looks like you've got some Indians and then probably some Tory green units here as well I'll just, you know. oh these are like these looks like Germans one specht one hertz one hidesel Yeah, so this is Saratoga, so you're probably gonna have a hard time getting all of your all of your troops to in cohesion. And that was the whole problem with Saratoga is they couldn't attack with any kind of cohesion. Brandywine, this has got twice as many troops as Saratoga. Again, same good, nice pictures and details on them. Just nice. I like I like the leaders as the historical paintings on there, even though they're small. And again, you got British troops over here. Cornwallis, Gray, Howe, and Grant. So that's Brandywine. And then this is Guildford Courthouse. So this is a much smaller battle, but you've got, if you look here, you've got the British tents. You've got some grenadiers up there in the corner. Those are nice. Highlanders. Love a game with Highlanders in it. Same, um, kind of tokens and units down there and then we got a lot of Patriot units down there and a few more British up top here and then the reverse side again it's where they have reduced side is the reduced side although there's a blank and then the other reverse side of their markers and this well that's interesting hmm. So this, if you look here, these are the kind of the original ones. These are on a gray cardboard. And this is a much smaller set on white cardboard. And I think these are probably all the C3I units over the years and the extra bits and pieces maybe. Yeah, so, or maybe they're eroded, I'm not sure. So you've got Germantown, Pensacola, Savannah, Guilford. Brandywine, Saratoga, yeah these are second edition so maybe these are just upgrades to other editions 
Not entirely sure with that. Saratoga down there. I wonder if you can use those to supplement all your other titles. We have here. All right. Okay. Yeah. This is the replacement sheets. So this explains that last sheet of counters. These are all replacement sheets for all of those things. That's a bifold. Okay. We have these are all the. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, blades. Brandywine, play, chart with a lot of matrices, tactical, close combat table, modifiers, terrain effects, leader summary, victory points. There's two of those. Those are identical. So that's Brandywine. Okay. Muddying the waters of Brandywine Creek. This is a reconnaissance matrix. This is pretty interesting. Special army morale. Jeffrey's Ford Recon. So this is a lot of special bits and pieces for that game. So if you have no British Recon and you have American Recon, here's a bunch of stuff that's going to happen. If they both Recon, here's what happens. If neither of them do, basically nothing happens. There's, like, there's no like special things that happen or some historical things play out. So that's pretty cool as an emphasis. I'm doing some extra bits and pieces there. We have Saratoga sheets one and two. These are both identical. And it's all the same terrain effects charts, tactical combats, close combat tables and DRMs. And then again, same thing for Guildford and Utah Springs. So I guess I believe Guildford the game, like Guildford, has two battles in it, so I think you might really be getting four battles in this game. Which is pretty neat. Series rules. Great Battles of the American Revolution. And this is the 2017 version, which I think is the most up-to-date sequence of play on the back. That'd be nice to have. Those are the same. So these are series rules. So those are generic leaders. And this is very GMT which is nice, only 16 pages. Plow through those. And then we get to the different exclusive rules. So it's Brandywine 2nd Edition, Saratoga, and Guilford Courthouse, and Utah Springs. So really, are you, you're getting at least four battles in here. So exclusive rules. Okay. Short campaign, how's flank attack. New powers and fate. So it looks like there's three different scenarios there at least. Brandywine Creek. So yeah, but really, so rules wise, in reality, you've got 16 pages of normal rules, and then it looks like there's really eight ish pages of extra rules. And then there's those holes, those intelligence variant, where we had those recon charts. That's an extra extra if you want them. But really, 28 pages of rules all together, effectively, not bad. Saratoga, again, let's see. Scenarios, postscript, a lot of history in this one. Special scenario rules, victory condition. So this is seven pages of extra rules. Special rules, how to win. Oh no, this really has hardly any in it. This is... A, 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 this is campaign rules with some special rules and variants. So really, Saratoga doesn't have hardly any extra rules. It's just like a couple of lines in the in the scenarios, which is nice. Brandywine had a lot more extra rules, it looks like. Guildford Courthouse in Utah Springs. Beverly special rules. So we got more rules in this one. Scenario. Order of Battle, Utah Springs, Special Rules, really, two, three, four, probably four pages of extra rules if you're playing both of these scenarios, so that's not bad either. And then some history in the back of that too. And then finally, <laughs> the majority of this three inch box is taken up by that boards. So we have two maps. Let me get this out of the way. Let's see if we can't figure out Saratoga first, I guess. Saratoga, I'm expecting a fort, and I'm expecting a huge forest. But it looks like that's what I'm getting. 
suppose by fort I mean. Yeah, you would call it a fort. Alright. There we go. As you might imagine. <laughs> huge forest. Okay. And up here, you've got your high ground with your defensible dugging positions. And, uh,. Yeah, so we got Fort Nielsen, you got the Freeman Farm down here, and you're gonna be British trying to march up and take the fort. And if you can do it, good luck to you. <laughs> I've played a couple of Saratoga games, and boy, it's always hard to do that. But it's a beautiful looking map. Uh, the one thing that I would say is if you look in the forest, I don't know if this is all that important. Looking at the hex numbers in those, kind of a pain, but it doesn't, the hexes are quite large, so that it, it, once you figure out where these ones are, count numbers, it shouldn't be too bad, but really nice looking map, pretty happy about that. Initiative track, so initiative unit morale, okay, so these morale tracks and effect initiative, I guess, based on these big larger boxes. And then there's a turn track all the way over the top there as well. Oh, and you have a terrain key on this side, which is nice. I would expect this to be double-sided based on how many scenarios there are. Indeed, I am correct. And you will forgive me for not knowing my American Rebellion history. <laughs> this is... This is Battle of Brandywine. Okay. So this is a very different style of map. I guess they have different artists. This is Chris Keebler. I don't know who did the other one, if it says on there. Map, game design, game development. Yeah, this is Joe Houston, Mark Simonich, did Saratoga. And this one. Just a different style, that's all. This one's a much more open map. Brandywine Creek going through the middle. Yeah, but other than that, it's it's that same um, morale track here. And again, this is gonna affect your initiative based on wavering fatigue to high morale. Game turn marker, terrain effects chart over there. And then there's captured and eliminated unit boxes. And other than that, Similar scale, the, the hexes are the same size. Because it's a much clearer map, it's much easier to see those hex numbers. And in this one, I would say everything's very, it's crystal clear what the terrains are. This is, almost looks like a tactical map. But uh, that's what I want from a map, is for it to be clear and easy to play on and facilitate play. It is nice when it looks really nice though, but you can't have it all your own way. And then we have the last map board, which again should be double-sided, which it is, because this is going to be Guilford Courthouse in Utah Springs. Oh, you, is that what it was? Yes. All right. Ooh, uh. Let me get this the other way around. Oof. So this is Guilford Courthouse. Again, oh, so this is, is this yet another? Artist? Yes? No? This is a Simonich. Okay. This is a pretty cool... This is very different from Saratoga. Just from a color palette standpoint. A lot of forest here. But look how vibrant these autumn greens and browns and oranges are. Okay. This one, very different in its style. Which is nice. I think that's cool. Um, but but still, it's crystal clear what everything is. Big forests, Macadoo woods. There is, what I don't know what I'm looking at, but this one, I would presume Guilford Courthouse is a place. There it is. There she is over there. I'm a moron. I just don't know my this part of history all that well, but from yeah. This is Guildford Courthouse. I'm not going to second guess what you're doing on this one. But everything's the same from the system in the sense that here's that army morale track, which again has those boxes that affects initiative. 
turn track, capture limited units. And this one has a very small terrain key at the top. And this one has another, yet another, yet another different Simonich map. This one again, much more vibrant. I don't know if this is like a, a winter map. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up, because I just don't know about that one. But there's got your heavy greens on this one. Looks like your big encampment here, over at the Wantoot Plantation. Uh, but again, all those same basic um, boxes and tracks from the system. Very clear map. That Santee Swamp up here, on the other side of the Santee River, that's pretty menacing. But this one's got a lot of small cops and uh, trees, so I think you're going to be dodging through terrains on this one, either to avoid penalties or maybe to try and gain bonuses defensively if and when you can. So we'll see how this one plays out. There's a lot of game in this box. Uh, that's the one thing I will say. Really, you're getting four games in one, um, which is pretty decent for the price that you're going to pay for this. If you're an American Revolution fan, you probably already have this, and if you don't, this looks like it is a bumper premium product <laughs> with everything that you get in it. Um, so check this one out. We're going to play these over the course of how many years, I don't know, and I'll probably lose every single one, because I don't know my history well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but maybe that's why I'll win, because I have no idea what the British did or didn't do other than lose, generally speaking, over the course of the war. So, this is Guildford Saratoga Brandywine, Tri-Pack Battles of the American Revolution from GMT. Came out in 2017, but it's still available. Check this one out. There's a ton in here, and I'm excited to uh, have Grant get his teeth into this and to open a can of whoop-ass on myself. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. This has been a bit of a longer one. There's a ton in there. Uh, but I've been Alexander from theplayersafe.com.